Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. and I am back with another gardening project. So today I'm very excited because I got not one, but two packages. So I went ahead um, and after I planted my two peonies down around that tree that are actual plants, they look great. I couldn't help myself. Mom and I both fell in love with the Shirley Temple peony. We could not find any around here. So I actually went online and I ordered some from an Etsy shop. So these are tubers, not the plant. And I thought we'd do a little unboxing video for you. So I don't remember, I think I ordered, well, I know I ordered four of the peony tubers, two for me and two for mom. And then I think I ordered a Dahlia tuber as well, but let's see. Yes, five items. So I ordered four bare root Shirley Temple peony tubers and one of the Cafe Ole tubers. Now the Cafe Ole was $12, so that's why I only ordered one. But in all the videos you see that Cafe Ole is that big, beautiful, cream Dahlia bloom. And when I put in my raised beds, I really want at least one bed that are the big, beautiful dahlias. So this is my first one in my collection and, you know, we'll grow it from there. Then I did get the peony tubers and they were $6.99 each. This is definitely not sponsored. I paid for everything in these boxes. So looks like she does have, ooh, cute little cards from roots and shoots on both planting peonies and growing dahlias. Now I picked these Shirley Temple peonies because they are supposedly, from everything I've read, um, really good at being uh, heat tolerant and we are in an 8B. So they are supposed to be able to grow in our climate. It is hot in Alabama, y'all. So peonies don't always love it. Now you can watch the video where I planted the other plants, the other plants, the other peonies, I listed my five top tips that I've learned about growing peonies in the South. We are gonna be doing the same five things for these tubers as we did the other plants, but let's get right into this. I will put um, some pictures of these cards up on the screen so you can read exactly what she's written. But one, Cafe Ole Dahlia, Roots and Shoots. Hate to cut through her pretty sticker. Maybe I can just, yeah, I'm that hoarder lady. I can just undo it. Okay. So I only know about tubers, what I've seen online. I've planted lots of bulbs, but. Okay, so here's our, our tuber. It is a whole group and it does have two growth points on top. So I'm going to plot this up ASAP because in the South we are in prime dahlia planting season. I'm going to plant it up on its own just in a pot and let it start growing on. That way in about a month or two when I get my new raised beds up, this can be one of the first things I put in there. But here is the tuber. I don't know if this is good or bad. It looks good to me. You tell me. Let me get that planted ASAP. Here are the Shirley Temple ones. It's probably going to be at least a year, maybe two or three before these bloom, but oh, these look nice. Okay. Okay. Look. So here's one and you can see that it already has growth on the top, has that growth point. So there's one. Oh, look at that growth. I paid for these. I'm keeping the best ones. Mom can get the other two, right? Oh, it is Mother's Day on Sunday. I already bought her other presents, but I should give her the nice ones. This one looks nice. Look at that growth. Oh, this is the best one yet. 
oh man, that's two big eyes, two medium ones, and three little ones. This plant is like the best. We've got two medium sized ones, one small and one big one. So I'll ask mom if she wants the really good one and the smallest or the two medium ones and she can take her pick. That looks really good. I cannot wait to see how these bloom. But that is it. That is all I ordered from Roots and Shoots. We are go ahead and we are going to pot those up maybe tomorrow. I want to get them while the dahlia will be potted up. The peonies will go right in the ground. I already cleared space for both of them. Um, and we will get those in either tomorrow or the next day. I want to get them in right away. But in the meantime, I also placed an order with Johnny Seeds. I did order from last year, but I know more now. So last year I ordered some foxglove seeds and some snapdragon seeds. I still haven't planted the snapdragons. I thought I needed to plant both of those things in the spring, so I waited. And in the south, woo, don't fly away, tubers. We're not cheap. Apparently it would have been better if I planted those seeds inside or in a greenhouse or somewhere last fall and then planted them out in the landscape in the spring. And I just didn't know that. So made a new order. I got a couple things that I'm really excited about. So let me show you. Now, obviously I know about Johnny seeds from Laura, a garden answer, but you know, other people as well. So here's everything I got. I got one packet of lupin seeds and it is seeds per pound, 19,335. That seems like a lot. This was the smallest packet that I could buy. And it says that they, um, quarter pound germination percentage is 93%. So we're going to plant some of these for next year. I will have to research. I'm not sure if I need to plant them this fall or next spring, but we're going to plant quite a few of those for both me and mom. Um, and then I will put pictures up on the screen, but I ordered some pumpkins for the raised beds that I need to plant in July. So I ordered, they're so very hard to pronounce. Hey mom, what's up? All right, so I will put the pictures and the names of the pumpkins up on the screen because I cannot pronounce these, but I got one, two, three types of pumpkins. This one is porcelain doll, I can say that one. Um, and then I did get, so the porcelain doll is kind of a peachy color. And then I got a Jaradale and Casparita. No idea if I'm saying those right. Then I did get a raspberry cream gumbrina that I wanted to try. If you caught the video where I planted my gumbrina, I like to interplant this amongst my foxgloves. That way when the foxgloves peter out for the season, the gumfrina just starts to get big, um, like at the beginning and it explodes mid June and July. So it's really good to intermix the two for multi-seasonal interest. Then I did get some cherry rose snapdragons. The ones I bought last year were the apple blossom. And then we have my pelleted seeds and these are the foxgloves. So I got Camelot Rose, Camelot White, and Camelot Lavender. So all three colors in the Camelot series, these are an F1 pelleted seeds, which means if you grow them on in the fall, they will bloom their first year that following spring. So I am very excited for these. I do think I might start some of the Gumfrina um, this year because like I said, they don't start growing until mid season. So I still have time to plant those. Then the pumpkins will be July and everything else I will start planting in August. So 
if you want to check those out, I will have lots of seeds and tuber videos coming up, but I just wanted to share my plant mail with you today. So hope you liked it. Bye.